other coders. Timing diagrams are UML interaction diagrams that are used when the main purpose of a diagram is to indicate the intervals between state changes of various objects. Timing diagrams focus on conditions changing within and among lifelines along the time axis and describe the behavior of both individual classifiers and their interactions, focusing attention on time of events causing changes in the modeled conditions of the lifelines. Transition from one state to another is a change in the level of the lifeline. During the period of time when the object is in a given state, the timeline runs parallel to that state. A change in state is displayed as a vertical change from one level to another. The reason for the change, as in the case of a state or sequence diagram, is the receipt of a message or request of an event that causes a change, the so-called stimulus. Or it could be that the change of the system state occurred by itself, triggered by the passage of time. This diagram shows alternative notations of the UML timeline diagram. In particular, the state of the object depicted between two horizontal lines that intersect each other on each change of the state. The lifeline is an element that represents an individual participant in the interaction. Usually, it is horizontally aligned to be read from left to right. Multiple lifelines may be stacked within the same frame to model the interaction between them. The state timeline is a set of valid states of elements and time. States are stacked on the left margin of the lifeline from top to bottom. It is possible to stack several lifelines of different objects in the same timing diagram, placing one lifeline above the other. Messages sent from one object to another can be displayed using simple arrows. The start and the end points of each arrow indicate when each message was sent and when it was received. The state lifeline indicates the change of state of an element over time. The x-axis displays elapsed time in any selected units, while the y-axis is marked with a list of states. The value lifeline illustrates the change of elements of value over time. The x-axis displays elapsed time in any selected units, similar to the state lifeline. The value is written between a pair of horizontal lines that intersect each time the value changes. We can use the length of the timeline to show how long the object remains in a certain state, reading it from left to right. In this diagram, the login event is received after three units of time, from the start of the sequence. To show relative times, we can mark a specific instance in time using a variable name. This diagram marks the time when send mail event was received using the letter T. We can use a relative timestamps in constraints to indicate that a message must be received within a certain amount of time. State and value lifelines can be stacked together in any combination. Messages can be transmitted from one lifeline to another. Each state or value transition can have a certain time-limited event, which indicates when it should happen, and a duration constraint that indicates how long the object will be in that state, or will be affected by the certain values. Here is an example where we simulate a car park system using this sequence diagram. It shows the consistency of the model between two interaction diagrams. The timing diagram must always match the sequence diagram and state diagram. In order to achieve this, we can attach states to the lifeline of each object in the sequence diagram. In this case, we can derive the corresponding timing diagram much easier by checking the messages sent between objects against the states attached to the lifeline. So here is the same car park system presented in the form of a timing diagram. Please give this video ample thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe. That was V, thank you and goodbye.